You've interviewed Rupert James Lachlan for stories uh, many years ago. What can you tell us uh, about James Murdoch? Well, I'll tell you that the day that I met James Murdoch, he was sitting at a bar with a stack of analyst documents, all on media companies, because I'm sure he knew at the time he was in his 30s, that he was groomed to take over this company. Uh, in interviews, Rupert had always spoke very glowingly that uh, James was his go-to guy to understand digital, because at the time, Mer Rupert was in his 70s, the internet was just coming on board, and he just had no clue how to segue from what he had into that world. James was his go-between to, to explain all of that to him. So it was quite clear even back then that he had sort of pre you know, had preferential uh, thinking towards James running this empire. Now, James is what about? He's 42 years old. Yep. He's a graduate of Horace Mann. He went to Harvard University but didn't graduate, left early. I understand that he's a cyclist and a black belt in karate. What about his specific business experience in the, Ru in the Rupert Murdoch empire? You know, that's the most interesting thing because of the three children, the one who's had the most success on their own is the three, daughter. Uh, three children out of the four uh, with of uh, the original, Anna with Anna, Murdoch. Right, man. because the other children, they were never really considered part of this, and everybody knew that many years ago. But of the three from the original wife, Elizabeth was the one who's had the success independently. Her production company is, is the biggest in the world that's been reported, and it was sold to, to 20th Century Fox. James has had a couple of little ventures along the way, but none of them really proved... Music? He was a he big was, music yes. entrepreneur for a while? Well, he was a music entrepreneur. It never really became a big one. Okay. None of it really took off the way Elizabeth's independent ventures took off. And Lachlan was always the guy. He preferred staying in Sydney, it seemed. He really preferred running, or at least he was given the newspapers to run the older Murdoch empire. James was always a little bit more involved in the global aspect of the business. And when he was put next to Chase Carey, who is, you know, the well-respected operator that Rupert chose to run the, the operation in L.A., it really became clear, ah, uh, yes, this is where Rupert is going. And today, Today's news really solidifies that for everybody. What about the future role of uh, Chase Carey? I suspect that this will be a gradual handing over of the day-to-day -day operations to James. I'm, uh, you know, Chase is ver very well respected by Murdoch. I'm sure he's very well compensated by Murdoch. So he probably can slowly step back and let James step in. The, you know, the benefit here is Murdoch is kind of a wild card. James is much more of, a, of a, an acceptable uh, executive, if you will. And you talk about this merger possibility with Time Warner. James kind of fits into the Time Warner culture much more than a renegade like Rupert does.